Another one of these guys. Castle Marn. Hello everyone, my name is Dukel and welcome back to episode 10 of Elden Ring. Really excited to be playing this again. So last time we explored a bit more of Limgrave, we started exploring the Weeping Peninsula. I'm sorry if I look a little bit tired today. My sleep schedule has been kind of fucked up. I've got kind of a list of things that I want to be doing today because uh, a few people sent me comments and messages about stuff in the game. Gundy's Lackey, my homeboy, told me how to get the thing in uh, the hero's grave. And then someone else sent me a message with some hints about like stuff that I had missed in Limgrave. So didn't tell me outright what it was. He was just like, oh, there's something near this area and something. So thank you for doing it through hints. So yeah, today we're going to do a bit of cleanup around Limgrave and I guess find like all the stuff that we missed. I'm gonna try to get through that pretty quickly because I know it's not really the most maybe interesting thing for you guys. And then I guess we'll go to the castle south of uh, Weeping Peninsula because that, that's probably pretty interesting. So thank you for joining me again today. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough and uh, yeah, let's just jump right in. So I actually kind of want to go back right away before we start to explore this place. I'm happy to be playing my girl Magdalena again. All right, let's go right away to the Fringe Folk, yeah, that's what it's called. The Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. I just want to get it out of the way, you know? All right, how do you play this game again? Oh, uh, something else I wanted to see about. Yeah, you remember last time I, uh, bought the no skill ash of war and I was like how does that work and it said if you equip it to like a shield or a torch you'll get to use your skill of what's in your other hand and I never use the parry okay, let's just do standard so if I have the shield can I use the sword I can oh that's so useful Nice. Okay, so that means I don't, I no longer have to, like, two-hand my sword in order to use my skill. That's super useful. That means I can still, I can keep blocking. Okay, that's exactly what I was hoping it would do, so I'm very happy about that. But I don't know if I want to use this shield, because this shield doesn't have full damage negation. So, I don't really like how this shield looks. It looks kind of basic. But we're gonna keep using this one just because this one has full damage negation, so... I'm gonna put my no skill on this one. Perfect. Let's keep going. Also, I'm sorry, I know my green screen is kind of like a little noisy down here. Uh, it's unfortunately the best I can do with my current lighting setup here. So I hope it's not too distracting. Back to this fucking place. Because I liked it so much the last time. But you know what? I want to get all the items here. So we're just gonna have to suffer through it one more time. The Fringe Folk Hero's Grave. So Gundy's Lucky say, said I have to make it to... The narrow passageway. <laughs> okay, I think it's this thing here. So there's supposed to be a way to go down there. I, I don't know if you drop down or like a ladder. Shit, I think it's coming. Oh, here it comes. It's gonna get this guy, yep. I don't really see... Oh wow, we really don't have much time! Wow, you really don't have a lot of time. Ah, this thing's so annoying. And uh, I also just want to say 
thank you to uh, everyone who's been watching the playthrough so far. Uh, it's doing like around 100 views per video now, which makes me really happy. I know not all of these people watch the whole video, but I'm sure there's a few of you that do. And so uh, I just want to say thank you for... Ooh. Ooh. I just want to say thank you for joining me on this adventure. Okay, where do you drop? Where? Oh, I think I see it. Ooh, that's gonna kill me. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, these things. God, they are very resistant. Even at the level I'm at. Also, I kind of rewatched like parts of my earlier playthrough, and I was reminded of the counter that you can do when you block, and I realized I have never, I never used it, and I felt pretty stupid. So I'm gonna try and uh, use it a bit more because it's actually pretty useful. Oh! Uh, oh, ah, that's like death. Ah, oh, fuck. Just that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I was really lucky to get a backstab because I wasn't even. It's not dead. How are you not dead after a backstab? Are you? Man, I was extremely lucky here. Oh my god. How are you supposed to get past this thing? Does it shoot on all sides? Does it, is it also gonna shoot on this side? I feel like it's gonna shoot on this side too. To him. I hate that these guys can't breathe. Maybe I should use my other sword against these guys, because I don't think they can even bleed. That giant flamethrower though. Damn. Unforgiving. And I wish you could destroy this fucking thing. I never actually tried to hit it that much. Maybe if you hit it enough times you can destroy it, but... That's so easy to miss though. This thing, like wow, you really have to be looking for it. Fuck you! Oh, and that heals too. Dude, guaranteed critical every time. Wow, now I feel really stupid that I haven't been using that the whole fucking time. That's so useful. Okay, so how do you get past this fucking thing? It's like I tried running as soon as it ended. Ugh. Okay, I don't do as much damage to them, but Fuck, I guess I'll use my katana. Right, let's try not to make the same stupid mistake again this time. Do you know what? Fuck you! Dude, I'm so glad I get to use my skill and my shield now. I don't have to choose between one or the other. Hell yeah. Ah. Alright, what is that item? Lightning Grease! 
That's all? Wow. Can't believe I died for a lightning grease. Okay, well this thing at least is not breathing fire at me from this side. He's gonna do it on this side. Doesn't look like it. Where are we? I don't trust it. I know something's gonna jump at me. I knew it, do you see that? What is that? I knew something was gonna fucking jump at me. It's probably only gonna drop once you get the item too. Cause like, I can't really fight on this narrow passage. It's really dangerous. Keep an eye on it. Oh, it's one of these fucking scions! Oh! Oh, I'm gonna fall. I gotta fall. I can't fight it on this thing. Damn! What? There's two? Are you serious? Dude, you can't fight both of these. On in this area, there's no fucking way. I wonder if I can just run and just grab the item. There's no way you're expected to fight two of these things on like this little narrow... There's no way. I'm just gonna have to run for it. I wonder if you can grab the item before they get you. I can't believe they put two of these things. Like, isn't one bad enough? We're back up there. How's there two of them? Where's the other one? Where's the other one drop from? I have to make a run for that item. No. Grab it. Okay, just run for the exit. Just run for the exit. And there's no exit. Okay, well. Shit, that is not what I wanted to do. Dude, you cannot be fighting this thing here. Oh, there, here comes the other one. Okay, maybe I can kill one at least. Heal! Heal! Where's the other one? Okay, it's still there. Okay, that's one. So is there nowhere else to go once you're here? nerve-wracking and that's all my flask can you go lower I see more stuff down there but is there like a ladder or something 
I mean, I see it. There kind of is a ledge down there, but ugh. I feel like that would kill me. But I don't see anywhere else to go. Let's just try it. Woo! Okay. No more surprises, please. Do I have to drop down? Um, mm, that's all poison, isn't it? And I don't have any more heals. And there's probably a boss down there. Is there not like a thing you can use to go back without losing your runes? I don't have any. Because I'm gonna get poisoned down there, I can tell. I do have like my one heal left. Okay, let's just make a run for it. Oh, never mind, it's not poison. There's gonna be a buzz down here. Something's gonna come out of the fucking water. Or not? Oh, it's an elevator! Is it gonna take me to that item that was up there? I just keep my shield up at all times because I- ooh! Oh yes, we are! It takes you up! Oh, uh, hi! That's it, the storm sword key- oh my god, this guy's gonna fucking kill me. He's not too bad. Okay, I think we've reached the end. I think that's... What is that? Pots? Oh, can you drop the pots on this thing? Wait, do I still have my bow? I know there's a way to aim. Oh, that's a L1. Okay. I have to wait until it's almost up. Or maybe not. Maybe you can't actually drop it. You have to hit the... And I just look like you can drop them. Why is that there otherwise? Oh. I guess it's just decoration. Uh, well, okay. So, what did we find? Urtree's favor. Oh, wow! Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equip load. That is really good. I'm glad I kept. I'm glad I kept exploring. Wow, that's much better than this. Oh, it's actually. It doesn't raise it that much, but it raises everything. So I'm gonna definitely gonna use that. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for this place. So as I mentioned, there's a few places left in Limgrave where I apparently missed some stuff. Uh, someone sent me a message with hints of what those are. So the first one I'm gonna check is... That person said, follow the camp near the Warmaster Shack. So let's try that. So there should be a road. Oh, actually, I'm a fucking dumbass. Let me... Let me level up first, actually. Let's do more faith. Alright, so follow the road. Oh. There is indeed something literally right here that I somehow missed. And I can summon. Boys! Let's take this place.
I mean, these guys are probably pretty low level by now, but... There might be some good items in this place. It'll still work. Ah! This dog. Dude, I'm so glad I remembered this counter and that it leads to a critical because equipping it with my like thing that restores HP on critical, that's some easy life back. Oh, you look pretty strong. Backstab, yeah. Get out of here. Be great would be like a sword that steals HP, that would be awesome. Stop hitting my dogs! No item. Cheap bastard. Oh, there's a chest here. Let's keep that for last in case it transports us elsewhere. We are hella rude. I see a statue up there, okay, so... Um, I have item here. Just some flesh. Okay, let's check what's in the chest. Maybe it takes us somewhere else. I'm worried of all these chests now. Okay, no. Beast Crest. Heater shield. That actually looks pretty good. That is pretty good. It has a hundred physical negation. And it looks better than this one, so I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, uh I guess that's it for this camp. Oh, another dog. You're a big shaggy dog. Okay, how can I get to that statue up there? What was that? Oh, they put it they put chains. Okay. I was like, am I being invaded? Oh, it's this place with all the giants. I never really explored that place that much. There's that statue. It might lead to the place that I already saw, though. Oh, I can't activate it. I think I can't activate it because it led to the, the catacombs. And I've already done those. Alright, well, that's, that's okay. Have I been over there? Ooh. That's where the catacombs were. I wonder if that giant I killed was a permanent kill. Because he's not... He's not there anymore. I don't remember if I've been up here or not. I think I was. Oh. What are those? Lava slugs? Some fucking lava slugs, dude. Oh, okay. Well, oh, never mind. These are very weak. Look at all this these butterflies. Fucking butterfly party up here. That was the tower that was locked. There was a guy on the horse there. I hear a shiny. Where is the shiny? That guy looks pretty strong. Hello? Uh, what is that? <laughs> okay, well. 
Uh, I think I'm a little too strong for this place. Golden Vow? Golden Vow? That sounds pretty fucking cool. And that looks like a Fate spell. Interesting. Definitely gonna try that out. Oh! And another Ash of War here. Don't, don't you do it! You motherfucker. Oh, Sumber, Spinning Stone. I thought the silver ones were always uh, Ashes of War, but I guess sometimes they're Smitting Stones? So I... I did come here. Yeah, this is the building that has like no entrance, although there's probably some way to get in there. Maybe later? Maybe eventually there's gonna be a door there. Although... I feel like if that place was important, there would be a... a side of grace here. The door would not open. Uh, okay, so that's one thing. Then uh, they said follow the knights in that in that forest there. Golden vow. That's that might be like a buff or something. My friend is still there. Grants affinities and skills. Skill passed down from antiquity among the knights of the capital. Raise armament aloft and pledge to honor the Urchine battle. Granting self and nearby allies. Increased attack power and defense. So it's a buff. What if I use that on my shield? Because then I could use my shield to buff and my sword for the projectile. Ah, oh, you can't. It's too bad. Uh, well, let's see if it also sets my 40, 40 FP cost. That's pretty costly. Oh, but it makes my sword always holy, so I don't have to boost it. Ah, interesting. Alright, so... Okay, now I'm boosted. But it doesn't put my... it doesn't light up my sword like the other skill does, which is a shame. And it uses a lot of FP, but... I wonder how long this thing stays. But now my sword is always holy, so I guess maybe that's good. Hey man, anything new with you? Always a pleasure. About Blade. Ah, Blade. Then you met Blythe, did you? Blythe. He's boorish. Ah shit, Blunt. I skipped. And couldn't find his nose with both hands. He's a good egg. But he's a good egg. I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for uh, helping us to meet. Goodbye. Nice. Always nice to see you, my friend. Okay, the boost is gone now. Actually, I can see. Okay, right now I'm doing 177, 225. One ninety-seven, two fifty-one. That is pretty good, but I like—I think I like having the projectile more because having a projectile is pretty useful. So I think I'm gonna keep my other thing for now. All right, so follow the soldiers. Well, there's one. Hello, sir. You're dead. Uh, there's another one there. And one there. Is that a... Hey, sir. There. Yeah. Uh, oh. Did I really just miss that the whole time? Wow. 
It was right on my path, like really it was really easy to see and I somehow missed that. Okay. Groveside cave. Wow. I mean, I'm probably a little too strong for whatever is in here at this point, but Oh, the music's a little different here, it seems. We'll clear it up. Sure. A bunch of wolves. Sorry guys, I should have been here earlier. Nah, I'm a little too strong to be here. A cracked pot, probably gonna find like really basic items. Just a bunch of wolves. Bones, glowstone, bunch of silver, fireflies. <laughs> this is probably supposed to be the first meat dungeon you find. But I missed it somehow. Ah, uh, that's gonna be a. What's gonna be like a giant wolf? Beastmen of the of Faroom Azula. Oh, it's a little beastmen, dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what I expected. Countering is not that easy. Not when you do combos. Sorry, buddy. Would have probably been Flame Drake Talisman. Would have probably been like somewhat of a challenge if I had found this place a little earlier. Well, that's fine. All right, so that's done. Uh, next, he said to look around Calais shop, north of Calais shop. We'll just clear out these little things. They're probably either mini bosses or mini dungeons. Side cave. So north. Oh, there's a statue there. Is that what he meant? Statue means catacombs, doesn't it? Are we north of? Yeah, that is kind of north of Kelly's shop. It's true, I never really went to that area. I, I went down there, but I didn't go here. So there's gotta be a mini dungeon here. Yeah, there is. Let's check it out. Soldier? No, I'm just a wretch. Yeah. Wonder why they're trying to dig for these ruined fragments. Also, if you remember, the ruined fragments description mentioned that the runes fell from the sky. So all these giant runes are supposed to have fallen from the sky. Now, is that just a legend? Or is there truly some, like, area up in the sky? And if so, are we gonna visit it at some point? That would be really cool. Ah, uh, yep, sure enough, there's a fucking place here. Is it a catacomb? Why, all these sites of grace that you can miss. Stormfoot catacombs. 
Let's touch grass. Grass touched! A proper death means returning to the earth tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Okay. Wow. You're not as sneaky as you think you are. I've seen your kind before. Some root resin. Okay. I've got my shield up just in case. Love word. This is the way, yeah, I think you need to uh, open these with a mechanism. I see you. I see you, you know. Come on, come down here. Is there more of your pals around here? We've been fighting these guys a lot. They're like in most of these mini dungeons. Oh, you're up there. Come down here. Come on, I dare you to come down. Little bitch. Okay, well, never mind. You know what? Just stay up there. See if I care. It's another one of these. I think I want my camera to turn a little faster. Ah! You son of a bitch. I did... I did challenge you to come down. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, uh, not another one of uh, not another one of these. It's gonna be like hello, hello. These are so creepy, and I don't know what their purpose, which makes them even creepier somehow. Because they've gotta have some kind of purpose. I see you. I see you. Let's come down there. Oh, you're... Oh! You guys! Wow, okay, that's a lot of you. Oh, how many of you are there? Unbelievable, you actually managed to kill me. They're really sneaky, like they really blend in with the environment where they don't move, so they can really gang up on you fast. Oh, assholes. Let's do this again. I don't know how far this fire actually goes, but I don't want to risk it. Ooh. So where were all of you? Okay, they were all on the wall there. I see. They are weak to holy, also. Which is very good for me. Smoldering butterfly. That's it? I keep dying for like really... Oh, you can hit this thing. The 
Does it go back up? Oh, it does. Interesting. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Maybe eventually, like, that's how you can get to higher places. Oh. Something to keep in mind. I wonder if you can shoot them with your bow. Guys, see you guys. They're so sneaky. I love this rapier, man. Raja is so nice to have given us his rapier. Come on. Come on. I know there's more of you. Love how fast this is. Wow, you're actually killing me with your little dagger. Fuck you! Oh, an some ashes! Wandering noble ashes. Ooh, more ashes. That's always. Wait. Is that where the lever is? No lever. Where's the lever? Oop. I see you, I see you. Imp head? Is that an actual helmet? Oh, please tell me. It is! <laughs> oh my god, you can actually wear that? Wow, it's really good too. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> look at me! Oh, that's great. That's great. That's really funny. Wandering Nobles. Five wandering. Oh, it's these like basic wretches. Spirits of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was, has long been forgotten. Head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem, resembling a cat. It holds trace amounts of feline intelligence. Interesting. Somewhere a heavy door is open. Oh, I see you there. You think you can just throw your things at people? And not face the consequences? Alright, so that's gotta be a boss. Yep. What boss is it gonna be? Uh, should I switch swords? No, this is just... Oh, it's this fucking thing again. Earth Tree Burial Watchdog. It doesn't have minions this time. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh! Okay, yeah, it's... Ooh. No, not the fire. I mean, it's probably pretty weak, because, like, this is a very early... Yep. Fuck. Let's not get too... Let's not get too confident here. Fuck you. Woo. I mean, it is rather slow. Whoa. Yeah. All right. Noble sorcerer ashes. Wow, we're finding a lot of ashes. All right. Not a good thing done. Is 
the same as the other one, but this one says hello. Hello. Don't like that. <laughs> Keep building up our faith slowly. Okay, so the next thing is uh, the person said cross the bridge near the telescope at night. I don't know why it has to be at night, but like, I guess an NPC is gonna show up there. So let's pass time. I do like exploring at night because the colors are very nice. Yeah. So the bridge. Let's get to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Where are these guys? Hello, gentlemen. Kind of bad killing these guys, actually. Oh, there's a. Is that what it is? There's one of these. Yeah. Yeah. The term. Ah, you motherfucker. Termination. Oh, okay. oh, it's another one of these guys. I was right. So they only show up at night. Knight's Cavalry, you motherfucker. You here to get revenge on your friend? <laughs> You're gonna go down the same way he did. Ooh. Oh, this one has like a big axe. You're gonna go down the same way he did. I can fucking hit you. Ah, bitch. You know what? Let me fight you on foot. Because I know you're weak to holy. If I can actually hit you. Ah, keep missing him, of course. Bitch. These guys have really cool music. I know I said that last time, but I stand by. Oh, even your horse is attacking me. Whoa. Whoa, okay, let's not get too penisy here. I guess you're supposed to meet this guy first, right? Because he's in Limgrave. But I never saw him while I was here. I want to hit him. I don't want to hit the horse. Get over here. Where are you going? Where are you? You know what? I'm gonna... Wanna fight down here? We'll fight down here. Bitch. I didn't know you could stab them while they were down. I'm not gonna give you time to summon. <laughs> Rest in peace, buddy. Ash of War repeating a thrust. Nice. Great dragon flip hide. I thought he was gonna give me his weapon, but this one gave me an Ash of War instead. Huh. Uh, cool. Very nice. I think that's it. That's all the things that uh, that person sent me. So thank you again for these hints, and thank you for not spoiling what they actually were. <laughs> so is that everything there is to see in Limgrave then? Uh, we still haven't found that guy that. Oh, Blight. Blight. Blight isn't there anymore. I guess he moved. There's probably still a few areas like up here that I didn't really explore, so we can explore a bit more of that uh, later. Actually, let me follow this path, this road here. Because I actually never really followed the road. <laughs> I was always like off the main path. Oh, look at that. I missed. Wow, I missed a lot of stuff. Smithing stone. There is kind of a little road here. These dudes. 
each other it's what you get sweet raisin I love these little groups walking around wow. fucking bats fucking bats You guys are ugly as sin. I usually like bats. Y'all some of the ugliest bats I've seen. I think this road just leads back into the forest where we've been already with the big the big bears. Why do you guys care about these ruins so much? Wonder. Oh, there's a side of grace there that we didn't activate. Hell yeah. Let's touch grass. Touch grass. So this leads into the forest, and then this leads to the Church of America. I don't really remember going to that church. I mean, clearly I've been, because the... Because the side of grace is activated then. What is going on here? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Kenneth Height? Who ordered and celebrated the Pudiator of the Pulse. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. Sucker? Looks like you're the sucker here. I'll rescue you. Hello? Me. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna help you. I just hope you're not one of these guys, so I don't kill you accidentally. Damn, there's a lot of these guys. Might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Where is that guy? Servant to the true order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Where are you? Oh, Ertry, grant me sucker. Hello? Is anybody there? Are you Someone up in the tree? Who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the true order and celebrate. Where are you? I think he's up on the ruins. You're just gonna keep repeating that, huh? Hello? There he is. Is anybody there? You're just gonna keep repeating Someone that? Who might be interested in rescuing the Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Yes. Well, that's it's very kind, but um What's the problem? No. No, the, the help is very much appreciated. Even from a tarnished. What's wrong with tarnished? Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might Are you a classist, dude? Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Is that so? I'm tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with... Is that the father? Is he the father of that girl? Hmm? What's this, fair lady? Remarkable. The knight commander dead. 
Already? Oh no, that other four. <laughs> right, right, right. If ever I chanced upon one. Fine work, I say. Fine work indeed. Okay, so you know he's not I the doubt father. That it was your intention, but the deed is done, and I commend you. Now, this is your reward. Go on, it's yours. He's gonna be really cheap. Just a dagger. Bird steel dagger. I mean, it's a pretty nice looking dagger. An earth steel dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade. Carried by the earth tree royalty for self defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, this weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Quick step. Okay, well, thanks. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re establish communication with the demi humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? <laughs> well, under the earth tree, co mingling with the demi humans is made possible. Okay. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Interesting. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in so he's actually the ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to negotiating with the demi humans. My friend. Just you watch. I feel like I'm gonna go there and he's gonna be dead. Like the demi humans are just gonna kill him. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, uh. stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. I mean, that sounds interesting. Knows, perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold. I already will see the grace of gold. Tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? I mean, I don't really want to, but it's because this is a first playthrough, I kind of have to say yes to everyone, no matter very what they well, offer. Very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. I don't know if I trust this guy. Hold the ceremony for your knighting there, I think. Really, I think he's gonna I be dead. Great things ahead of us. We are truly by the earth tree blessed. I feel like the moment I get to the fort, he's just gonna be. He's gonna have been killed by the demi humans. Dive much to. All right. Well, good luck, dude. Hopefully, you survive long enough to uh, have some other side quest for me. And there's the church, right there. Right, right. When I first came here, I was coming up from the Summon Water Village. Right, that's how it happened. Alright, let's go to the fort right away. Wow, there's no sign of grace anywhere down there? That's surprising. I must have missed it. There's no way there's no sign of grace there. Unless there's gonna be one now that he's back there. Oh, hello. Why is there just a random... Magician. Glintstone staff? Wow, you actually gave me a staff. This must be like a rare drop. Oh, I didn't notice this the first time I came through here. More of these, like, sarcophagus. Ah! Jesus. You ugly motherfuckers. Do you attack me because you're ugly? Or are you ugly because you attack me? Oh, there's... There's like a camp here. How did I miss all of this stuff? Oh, it's so easy to miss. Miss these things. Okay, you can stop there. Hello! How are you good sir? Ah, oh, bitch. Hit me with that prevent preemptive strike. Bitch. Dismounter. I think that's his weapon. 
Wait, who's shooting? Oh, you up there are shooting spells at me. That's not nice. Sorry, buddy. There's a chest here, but I'm not gonna open it, just in case it takes me somewhere else. Okay, this guy needs to stop casting spells at me. I wanna get you. I love how you're invincible while you dismount, that's great. Royal House Scroll. Oh, I've never seen that before. These soldiers are like all over this place. I guess they're all soldiers of Godric. Godric's dead now, guys. You guys can uh, retire and like go home. It's fine. You don't have to be dicks anymore. item? Oh. Give to a learned sorcerer. Sorcery scroll of the Carrion royal family, the heads of the Academy of Raya Lucaria. I keep hearing about that place. Can be given to a learned sorcerer to get Glintblade, Phalanx, and Carrion Slicer. Well, you're a sorcerer, aren't you? There you are. Shall we commence the lesson? Indeed she is. Give the royal... Well, I don't know any other sorcerer, so... Oh, is that a scroll? Takes me back to my academy days. Hmm. Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not really? entirely unfamiliar. So you don't really know that sure many spells. It into one of your lessons. Okay. Never lose that inquisitive spirit, my apprentice. You know it. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to use any of these, but maybe in another playthrough, or if I respect eventually. Okay, so I have to go grab my souls back like an idiot. Sorry, my runes. There we go. Alright, let's not fall this time. Ooh. Let's be a little more careful. Ooh. You bitch. Of course you're gonna f take your item with you. Gonna be a pain in the ass. You guys take care of the small fry. I'm back for you. I wonder if you get, like, it'd be cool if eventually you can double jump, even without your horse. That'd be really, that'd be really cool. You're all too weak for me! <laughs> okay, look, if you guys don't attack me, I won't attack you. How about that? Don't do it once my back's turned. Alright, let's check what's in that chest. Okay. Great Epe. Great Epe. Okay. I uh, don't think there's anything else here. There's gonna be a side of grace nearby. Like, that's a huge... Okay, yeah, that's the... Everjoel. That's a big area without a Sight of Grace, isn't it? Another one of these. I saw one earlier in uh, 
weeping peninsula. It's like a quadrant. Another stylite shards. It's like, look how big this area is without a side of grace anywhere. Oh, is that a merchant? No. It's abandoned. Oh! I knew it! There is a side of grace. I mean, it's kind of hidden behind the stones. It's, it's kind of easy to miss. Alright, let's go back to the fort and see if that guy, uh, Kenneth, let's see if he's actually still alive, which I kind of doubt for some reason. Try to use these runes more. I think let's just keep putting points in the faith. Because it, it raises all my other stuff too sometimes. Uh, okay. That's still kind of a ways away. Southeast. Alright, let's go back to the fort. Hopefully, our newly found employer isn't dead. It's weird how there's no side of grace at that little fort. Seems like the perfect kind of place for that. So was he able to... Oh, there fucking is! I missed it! Oh my god. I missed so many of these sites of grace. They're like really easy to miss. This is so stupid. Uh, Alright. Was he able... Well, the demi-humans aren't here anymore. Hey, Kenneth? Are you okay? Oh, they... They're all in here. Are you guys gonna attack me? You sure are. They took over this place. Where is... He's gonna be dead. Oh, there you are. Yo, your guys are attacking me. Uh, you, is it? I suppose you must have seen it by now, or indeed it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh... Sorry, you were saying? Ah, I suppose indeed it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste, but not... I thought you were the ruler. Godric. The true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins. You talking about yourself, by any chance? I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. Well, what the fuck? The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage. I must begin my for a true Okay. Well good luck with that, buddy. Kenneth Height, Lingrave Air. Air. Alright, uh You guys sat through a bunch of like side stuff. So you know what? We're gonna go to that castle south of the Weeping Peninsula, because uh, there's gonna be some good shit there, so hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise this episode's all gonna be like side stuff. But maybe, I don't know, do you guys enjoy seeing that all that side quest kind of stuff, the mean dungeons and stuff like that? I mean, I enjoy doing it, of course, but uh, I want you guys to enjoy the playthrough, you know? So, let's head for the castle. Even though that girl that we were supposed to deliver the letter for is dead now. But you know what, even though she died, we promised her we would deliver that letter, and by God, we're gonna do it.
So we need to find a way to approach the castle. That's a pretty big fucking castle, too. We gotta get a way to get there without being shot. I think it's a giant with a bow. Okay, so if we, like, strafe, we should be good. Ooh, okay. Nice aiming, dude. Too close! He's already missing some health. That's weird. He's got lava feet! Get out of here! Great arrows. Alright, is there a set of grace around here by any chance? There's a big sword there. Okay, now that this guy's gone, let's just explore the surroundings a little bit before we go through that main door. The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Lord Godfrey. That's gonna be the boss of this place, Lord Godfrey. All these names are so similar, like Godric, uh, Godfrey. Like, what's the other guy, the Golden? Okay, so this is Castle Morn. There might be like a little side entrance. Or not. No side entrance. Okay. Alright, let's go through the main door. Let's take back Castle Morn. In the memory of the girl whose name I forgot. What was her name? Irina. Irina. Sorry. In the name of Irina, let's take back Castle Morn. This is a pretty big place. That's gotta be like... Is that a main dungeon? Look at all these dead bodies. Oh, and they put... A side of grace right at the entrance. So, uh, this promises to be... Interesting. Why is there just an empty room here? Okay. This looks more like a mine than a castle. Are we gonna... Is it just taking us straight to the fucking roof? What is happening up here? Castle Morn. Wow, they killed everyone. Not only killed them, it like strewn them up. Okay, you know what? It's time to clean this place up. What are they? Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, these guys with the creepy ass smile. Oh, did you see that guy get intercepted in midair? <laughs> that was so cool. Damn, there's a lot of them. Whoa, okay, there's a big one. Can I target the right dude, please? They killed my wolf. They just killed all my wolf. Well, at least they got distracted long enough for me to. 
they hit pretty hard. They have like wings. What are these guys? These guys are very strange. Die. Uh, they killed fucking everyone. Smithing stone. The music is very somber as well. It's like something horrible happened here. I can still hear some fighting. There might still be some knights alive. They're the knights that attack me, right? So even if I like save them, they're still gonna attack me, I'm guessing. Okay, I need to find a way to climb up there so I can go help these guys. Um uh, mm, Who is that? Is that a boss? Trust like that. I do not trust like that. It's just weird how the inside of the castle was like a mine. Oh, there's a chest here. I don't trust chests, as you know. Okay, well, let's let's try it. A claymore. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh wow, they kill him right as you get here. He broke my guard instantly. I love how that guy stays alive just long enough for you to see him die. <laughs> it's nice, a little like in game cutscene almost. Like a gameplay scripted event. Look at that. All the dudes hanging. More fighting happening up there. They don't stand a chance. But I, yeah, I think they would both be hostiles. Here they are. That's unfortunate. At least I can get some health back. I mean, it feels kind of stupid to be killing both sides. Pearl Calling Finger Remedy. It's like, why am I even here if I'm just killing like both sides? It's like I'm as bad as these guys. Iron Cleaver. They are incredibly creepy, I'll say. Steel wire torch. Oh, is that like a better torch? That's very nice. Okay, let's keep climbing up. I'm gonna have to go back down there to defeat that guy eventually, but... I guess we're looking for her father, but then like the father's gonna be like, why are you killing my soldiers? <laughs> Even if I find them. Hey, what's up?
Also, unlocking some kind of a shortcut soon would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that ladder in mind. He's gonna see. Me. These guys have bows. I was wondering why you guys weren't flying, because they all have wings. You know what? Get the fuck down here. Bitch. Misbegotten short bow. Okay. This area is really cool. It really is like the roots. Oh, <gasps> Sam Grace! Okay, uh, I'm gonna activate it, but I don't wanna rest because then they're all gonna come back. But then how can I climb back up there? I guess I have no choice but to fall down. That's a weird placement for a side of grace. Oh, I have to jump that. Okay. It might have been pointless to jump that because it doesn't look like. Oh. Hello. Pickle. Ah! What the hell? You bastard. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Why do you gotta have so much health? Okay, there's a ghost in a cage. Is that the father? Please help me, I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. I think you're already dead, man. Anything but that, please! Think of the disgrace! I'm sorry, dude. It looks as if you're already dead. I'm sorry I wasn't here to save you, but... Next up... Here is shiny. This is a really cool area. He's gonna spot me. Hello! Oh, I can't backstab him. I keep hearing shiny like one of these scarabs is around, but... Let's climb. Chest, huh? Mm. That I feel like that's gonna transport me. No. Twin blade talisman. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. Ah, oh. interesting. Uh, 
But I don't really have anywhere else to go from here, though. Guess I... Oh, I can jump on that roof there. Yeah, that's why this thing's there. It's kind of what it's showing you. It's like, oh, just drop down here. This thing follow me. No, okay. Where am I looking right now? Okay, that's the back of the castle. There's definitely stuff down there. There's like these jellyfish. Um. Uh, Tarnished Golden Sunflower. I've been hearing you this whole time. God, I can finally get you. Again, this looks like a, a dead end. But it can be. There's always somewhere you can go next. That is way too high. Okay, no, there's a path there. I think you have to jump that. Indeed. Where are we going? <laughs> so many little... So many little paths. And you never know where you're gonna end up. Especially that first time, it's so like interesting. Because you really don't know what you're gonna find. Smithing stone. And, like you don't wanna miss that, because then you'll die. Get okay, rats. This one's still alive as well. So there's not too many of them. No, don't pile up on me. Don't pile up on me. A whip. Wow, whip. Okay, that was scary for a moment. I have four flasks. Wow, I love. <laughs> I forget how many flasks I have. Although I did just replenish them, I think. And it's gonna take me a while to come back here if I die, so I hope I don't die. <gasps> Unless... <laughs> Unless I find the last a side of grace. I am so glad I get to touch grass, but that also tells me there's probably a bus very soon. And I'm not gonna rest just in case I can actually survive. Without bringing back all these in. Yep, the bus is right there. Okay. I feel like I'm not gonna have a choice but to respawn, probably. Which means I'm gonna have to kill all these guys again up there. But that's okay. So we're seeing all these jellyfish. Does that mean the bus is gonna be some kind of jellyfish? Monster? Oh, they're sleeping. Wakey, wakey! Oh, God, that miss! Come on. Okay, you can backstab them. That's what you get. Throwing dagger. We found a lot of items, and I'm gonna read the description once we get to the end of the episode. These are much bigger, aren't they? Than the ones I saw before. Okay, there's gonna be some guy there. 
somber smitting stone. They don't seem particularly hostile, although I'm sure they are. Bunch of crabs. Oh! Are we about to fight the fucking crab feeder? Fire arrows. Oh, 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 that's gonna be a problem. You just killed your own children. And he's gonna kill me. Well, I only got 3,000 runes from killing everyone in the castle. They really don't give a lot of runes. Ah, oh, shit. Now all the guys are gonna be back. God damn it. Uh, do I wanna go grab my souls back? I'm gonna get stuck in that corner again if I do that. Not really worth it. This boss might be pretty hard considering the spawn is right next to it. I wonder if that's even the main boss of this castle. Alright, let's see who it is. I have no idea. Like the leader of these guys? Leonin Misbegotten. Okay, hello. Yeah, he's the leader of these guys. Oh, okay. Use. He does have kind of little wings. Ah, shit. I can tell this guy would be really hard, although... Damn, that reach, though. That reach, though. I could summon, but I won't because he doesn't have that much health. Although, he is kicking my ass right now. He is very accurate. Second farm. Not if I kill you first. Ga grafted blade greatsword. Okay. Whew. That's a cool area. A cool battle arena. That's all I got, 3,000 runes. So I guess he was the leader of these, like, harpies. Not sure what they're even called. I'm just gonna call them harpies. We're gonna explore the rest of the castle, but let's just do a little bit of reading first. Um... Uh, spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Rhea Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he is only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. Wow. Okay. Grafted? Wow, that's... That's cool, it's like a bunch of blades put together. The storied sword of Castle Morn, a revenger's weapon, it is burdened with oceans of anger and regret. One of the legendary armaments. A lone surviving champion from a country now vanished was so determined to continue fighting that he claimed the swords of an entire clan of warriors. Wow. That's some Game of Thrones shit. Oath of Vengeance. Swear an oath upon the great sword to avenge the clan, raising all attributes. Wow, that seems very strong. And then a whip, a leather whip not originally used for combat but as an instrument of pain. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing critical hits. Yeah, that makes sense. Dismounter, this curved greatsword wielded by the brawny cell swords of Kaiden, combines the blade of a scimitar with the heft of a hatchet. A difficult to handle weapon that demands much of the wielder's strength and dexterity, but with practice and ability, it can serve as a versatile weapon, even on horseback. Great epi, large rapier featuring a thin, sharp blade. Commonly used in life or death duels. Like its smaller counterparts, it is made for thrusting attacks and can be used while guarding with a shield. A large sword with a long straight blade, this heavy sword is usually wielded with two hands, but for those with enough strength, one is sufficient. In addition to the heavy sweeping attacks, 
can also make a heavy piercing thrust. Fairly large iron cleaver commonly used by the maltreated misbegotten. Okay, that's their name, they're misbegotten. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung wildly and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Misbegotten short bow. Fine fur clings to it. Designed to inflict additional damage by sacrificing range. And a steel wire torch. Torch wound by metal wire. The flame can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. And you can even breed fire with it. Uh, I don't use my torch to attack only for light, so I'm not gonna equip that. Because it's heavier. Okay. So that's everything for this place, but we still have some stuff to find in the castle. So let's go back. Clear out the rest of it. They were very generous with the Sights of Grace in this place. Can you drop down there? Nope, that is death. Uh, lots of Sights of Grace in this area. There's like one, two, three, four. Or just one area. But the inside of this castle is so weird. It's like walls of... It looks like a mine. I guess because like the castle is way up, that would be like a smart way to make it hard to take. Which makes me wonder how did these little guys like invade this place so easily. Is that like a big pumpkin dude with like the big helmet? Yes it is. Okay, well, these guys have very little health. Sanctuary stone. Smithing stone. He's already dead, dude. You're done. It's alright, you can stop. Oh, there's that ladder, I think. Is that the... yeah, that's the ladder that took me up there. Uh, I didn't find her father, though. Did I just miss him? I am still missing something, because there's a way to get to the other walls, I have to imagine. Okay, that's the path that took me to the side of Grace, right? So I need to go left this time. Oh wait, is it? Yeah, 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 it is. Oop. Godric Soldier Gauntlet. You know, I'd be happy to help you. But I know you're gonna attack me. Okay, I think I've, yeah, I've been there before. Where is her father? Can it really just be that like she gives you the letter and like, he's gotta be here, right? But I kind of checked everywhere already, unless I missed something? I don't feel like I've missed anything. I haven't been there. Ooh. Oh, you almost got me. Okay, he's dead. You can stop. 
Is that the father? Oh, no. Stone sword key. Okay, well, uh, I've been running around this fucking castle for like an hour and I haven't found anyone, so either I'm just missing it. If I missed it, just let me know. I'm gonna go check back to see if there's anything that's changed with like her corpse or something. But uh, if I miss the father, just let me know in the comments. Because I swear I looked everywhere, like I followed every path, I've climbed every ladder. Maybe I'm blind, but... I don't think things change with her because she's fucking dead, but man, that sucks. I couldn't deliver her letter, I couldn't save her. I'm afraid we failed her. So yeah, I don't know, maybe this is what's meant to happen, but I don't know, it feels kind of <laughs> inconclusive. Uh, then again, it's possible that he just escaped the castle and that we'll meet him somewhere, like some other place down the line. Like maybe he's... Oh, could he be at the... I don't think he could be... At the round table hold, right? Because he's. He wouldn't be a tarnished. But uh, yeah, it's possible that we'll just meet him later in the game and that, like, you're not meant to find him in the castle. Can we upgrade our spirits? Greetings, are you here for spirit? Yay! Yay! Oh my god, I can upgrade it so much! Okay, they, they gotta be pretty good now, right? Wow, they're plus six now. Hell yeah. I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. Yeah? I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. I'm so happy for Once you. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. Oh, she gave me a curtsy. Very nice. Nice little curtsy. The girl has come a long way. Yeah. As if her time and technique have made her stronger, tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter, but at times that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft, and it isn't easy. Why do you call yourself a monster? Chill with my girl here. All right. Well, uh, as I mentioned, it's possible we'll meet the father further in the game. Maybe that's what the quest line is. Uh, I guess don't tell me. Like, if I missed him in the castle, tell me. If he just ends up showing up later, don't tell me. All right. So we did a lot of uh, little side quests today, and then we we took back Castle Morn. Even though there's not much left, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't think people are gonna move back in there, but. This was another fun episode, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, leave a comment and all that fucking shit that I have to plug every episode that you're probably tired of hearing me say. <laughs> Most important thing, share. Share this video with someone if you enjoy it, share it with a friend, that's what really helps me. Also, in case you missed it, I'm starting a new playthrough on the channel, which is Outer Wilds. The first episode is already up, so uh, check that out if that sounds interesting. I had fun recording this, I hope you had fun watching it, and I hope you catch me in the next one for more Elden Ring. See y'all.